I last talked about time being centered around the concept or idea of a measurement of the distances between these measurements and at some point those distances the specificity of those distances were decided upon by an individual or a group whatever the case may be ultimately in my view it is the singular force behind this whole incorrect vision that incorrect vision which distracts everyone gets everyone to look in a million different directions this is why i've said it's a million different possibilities as to who could be behind all of this all of evil's design but yet there's only one possibility a million possibilities but only one possibility obviously that possibility one could call by a thousand names satan lucifer the devil etc the one who goes by a thousand names so time being a measurement of sorts a type of distance and this could be related back to an idea called the vanishing point which makes something that would be square appear as if it's triangular like a pyramid and this is also the basis of the pyramidical symbol as seen on the back of the united states one dollar bill with the all-seeing eye of providence on the top of it so the idea of the vanishing point is you take two parallel lines and then given enough distance they seem to converge towards an oculus point and obviously that oculus point as reference to the symbol I just mentioned is that all-seeing eye and this is how uh, something that's actually square can appear as the shape of a pyramid one learns this in a basic art class probably many people who have taken art classes in school learn this basic aspect of the vanishing point and how it makes something appear as if it vanishes and converges in the far distance as if these two parallel lines actually come together and that's a very important aspect because if we take the symbol of the vanishing point and that oculus point the point where it converges to this eye it can be related to the ouroboros that symbol which relates the fact that everything comes full circle and where does the head converge with the tail in that symbol if related to a clock it converges at midnight and this is why we have mythological stories such as Cinderella. Yeah, Cinderella, Sin is in the moon. And what happens at midnight? Well, her grand chariot turns into a pumpkin. And as was related in earlier works, what does this system get everyone to do? They get everyone to pump kin for sin. Kin being the children or kids yeah very much this system is about rendering us into retards over and over again wiping us completely clean if you will over and over again turning us into a blank slate with each reincarnation and another way to put that is we become retarded again obviously if you're having to start from scratch all over again having to relearn everything that makes one a retard and that goes even to again the French word which is spelled as retard which means slow it just means that you're slow you have to start all over again yeah, it's a retard system. And of course, it's Re again. Ray, the Egyptian sun god. 
another name, one of the thousand names for this force of evil that inflicts this horrendous cycle, foists it upon us over and over again, having to figure this out. And that's if we happen to be lucky enough to do so, because one has been concerted in their efforts, taking it serious. And with such a limited amount of time and nothing is guaranteed whatsoever, death could come and collect anyone at any moment. That's just the fact. So this is why when I speak about this opportunity of an eternity, it is enormous. This is why I keep saying it. It can't even be fathomed by anyone. How rare and impossible this opportunity to come is. How impossibly created. There are so many factors. Innumerable factors against all of us in this place, in the system of evil. And time is always against us because time is the system. It is the time snake. It's a snake system. And it keeps trundling forward nonstop. This is why it's very important in regards to knowing what to do with our time and not wasting it. Not wasting it at all, but far too often that's exactly what everyone does. Wastes it away into oblivion or into trivial matters. Things that don't make any sense. Just so much circus distraction. Because the whole thing is a circus. The entirety is a circus. Not just what the so-called truth community has been focusing on in terms of politics or what are deemed as absurdities of the system. How much circus-like activity is every individual still involved with? This is why it's so important to look in the mirror. It really is. Has the speaker done so? Absolutely. Absolutely. No pedestal for this voice whatsoever. The same work has been done. The same. The same struggles have been gone through and still are. Every day is a fight because this is a war, as was stated already several times. It's a war against the mind, the mind which is always pressing against every last one of us, every last one of us, this voice, this speaker included. None of it is easy. Every single day is a struggle, especially when you reach the upper echelons of the truth and you get to realize exactly where you are. Then the time snake, the one that goes by a thousand names, it doesn't like that when one has figured it out then it presses even harder. One becomes a target constantly. But if the individual, if you as an individual are just constantly distracted still, treating everything like an entertainment, being a glutton for information even, that's another way to just treat all of this like an entertainment You're a glutton for just consuming infotainment or just information in general, just getting your fix every day. How much information can one consume? Part of the whole daily diet. So much presented already to just work on oneself, but the habit of consumption cannot be stopped. It's another addiction can that be seen? Can the vanishing points in one's own life be seen? They are there. It just takes a little bit of focus 
to see them. Every single day is really a vanishing point. There really is parallel lines that are converging to a center, to an oculus center. But which center is one focusing on? I reiterate, is one focusing on the center of the mind or the heart? Where are those parallel lines converging inside of oneself? The incorrect vision or the correct one? It is the most important question. The only one worthy of any attention at this moment. Everything else is a distraction. Absolutely everything. So many still just concerned with consuming endless amounts of info as if that's going to free one. The libraries are already so full that it would take you a thousand lifetimes to go through all of that garbage, most of it. A few beacons of light here and there but the vast majority is just blathering so much of it just written by artificials quite actually quite actually written by artificials that's going to set one free does one really think that the system is going to give you anything that will set you free it's always been inside of us. So where is one concentrating in terms of their own vanishing point and the little time that each of us has left? So very little time and it's so very precious. It's sacred. That's how little time there is left it is sacred it always was but most especially in the last moments and this is the way it should always be seen though even if you have an eternity it should still be seen as sacred every moment no one's going to treat it as sacred for you no one's going to set you free by doing the work for you. People are waiting too much for a savior figure to do all the things that are required for them. This system has trained everyone far too well in that regard. And still far too much projection, far too much blame, and not enough internal individualized work on oneself and correcting the vision while there's still time to do so. While there's still time to do so.